Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm coming with today's word. God is speaking. Today, I want to talk about taking a leap of faith. Really quick, we're going to Acts chapter 3, which is a story that's familiar to a lot of people that have, um, you know, just been in the word for a little bit of time. Um, in Acts chapter 3, it talks about Peter and John. It talks about them going up to the temple at the hour of prayer. And it says that there was a certain man there. He was lame from his mother's womb. He had not been able to walk all of his life. Life. And it talks about how every day he was laid at the gate, uh, beautiful, which is the gate of the temple. So every day he's laid at this gate and he begs for alms, for gold, for silver, for money to get through, to get by. So every day he's doing the same thing because he has this same uh, situation and it continues every day as routine of his life. But the Bible tells us Peter and John, they are about to go into the temple. And it says, when this man sees them about to go into the temple, uh, Peter, you know, fastens his eyes uh, on him and tells him to look on him. And so when the man looks up at him, he thinks that he's going to receive something. But Peter tells him, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And the Bible says in verse seven, he took him by the right hand, lifted him up and immediately his feet and ankles bones received strength and he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple walking and leaping and praising the lord i want to talk about how peter told him in the name of jesus christ of nazareth rise up and walk and then he took him by his right hand lifted him up and immediately this man's feet and ankle bones received strength and he leaped up it says he was walking leaping and praising the lord but he leaped up he stood and he walked he leaped up he stood and he walked he leaped up and he stood and he walked when we think about leaping you're thinking about and talking about you know going from one position to another but it's like a sudden movement it is it is uh it is like a jump. It is a spring a long way, it tells us in the definition, uh, to a great height or with great force and a forceful jump, a quick movement. So when you think about a jump or a spring of a long way and you think about a great height, when you think about a leap of faith, this is something that, you know, you just you just have to do it. You know, so oftentimes there's something that we know we ought to be doing, something that we want to walk in because we know it's a vision, it's a dream that purpose that God has for us, the plan he has, it's time for us to move to the next thing, the next level, the next assignment, the next mission, the next dimension. But oftentimes people are fearful instead of walking in faith. And so when we don't have faith and we are fearful of the outcome, then we begin to take, you know, we're, we're moving so slow and so cautious and looking, well, maybe not. I don't know. Is this going to work? Or what if I don't have enough? What if then nobody helped me? What if nobody supports? What if I don't know enough? What if this isn't, what if I leave this position and go to that position? and it doesn't work and we begin to crawl and when we do that and we begin to look all around looking for something that seems like it's not going to work then we find ourselves going back and we never take the leap sometimes you got to stop looking around at everything else look at God and leap and take that long jump take that spring a long way begin to go that great height begin to go with great force do it with a quick movement and when you think of the leap of faith when you look that up, it's an act of believing in or attempting something whose existence or outcome cannot be proven. And that's what faith is all about. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So it's nothing you can prove or it's not faith at all. So the leap of faith is when you take that spring, that jump, when you leap up, when you take that long jump from one place to the other, from one position to the other, away from where you've been to another place, this is an act of believing. And we know without faith, it's impossible to please God. It's the act of believing or attempting something whose existence or outcome cannot be proved. Now this, we should be able to do with bold confidence if we're doing the will of God. If it's something that God has instructed us to do, something that God is given us, you know, instruction that, you know, I want you to do this. It's time for you to go here. It's time for you to change that. It's time for you to move away from this place and go to that place to move from this position to that position, from this, you know, uh, assignment to that assignment, whatever it is, we, if we know that it's God, we've got to take that jump, that leap. We've got to move and believe him for the outcome because it's not proven. When you 
look at this word, it, it tells us that it requires a significant, you know, it, it, it requires us to have a significant amount of faith to believe. And what are we believing in? Not the thing we're believing in God that he will bring it to pass. We're not believing in self. The world will tell you, believe in yourself. Don't believe in yourself. Believe in God. Because the thing is, is that when God is leading you, he equips you, he provides for you. He gives you the help you need. He gives you the direction. He gives you the instruction. He gives you the favor. He opens the door that no man can shut. So when you think of a leap of faith, you know, the uh, the dictionary says an act of believing something that's not easily believed. And so when you think about something that's not easily believed, um, you think about, you know, when Noah was building the ark and nobody believed that it was going to rain or be a flood, there was no sign of it. It wasn't something they experienced. It wasn't something they knew about. And so when you think about you know, Moses uh, being instructed by God to go free the children of Israel and go to the Pharaoh, you know, who doesn't know him. And he seems like he feels like he's a nobody and he doesn't speak well. And who is he to go to the king to tell the king to deliver God's people, this this massive group of people? You know, who is he? What That doesn't make sense. And it's not proven that he's going to get favor. There's something, you know, that, that you can't prove in the natural. You just have to believe God at his word. When you look in the word over and over again, you see where God is directing people and and he's uh telling them what to do and it doesn't make sense and you know the woman the widow with the little uh oil and a, and a little bit of flour during the famine she only had enough to make one more cake for her and her son and then they were going to die of starvation she says but the man of god elijah said make me a cake first and and then you know and let her know that then she would continue to have food it was a it was a leap of faith i'm just gonna do it you can't sit there and go well you know well what if it doesn't and what well i don't know what if i give my little bit of flour no you either take a leap and you jump and you do it, or you're always going to mull over it and never do it. And so over and over in the Bible, it's nothing about, but about faith. Uh, uh, it tells us in Hebrews eleven six, without faith, it's impossible to please God. He can't use us if we're not going to be ready to leap, if we're not ready to jump, if we're not ready to move, if we don't believe him enough to take that leap of faith. This man that was at gate beautiful, when Peter reached out his hand, reached out, uh, reached out and got his right hand, the man jumped up. Look, his legs and his ankles strengthened up. But he would never know that they worked if he had not leaped up, if he had not been ready to walk and leap and praise the Lord because he could have made excuses. He could have made reasons as to why he couldn't walk. And what if I get up and I fall? What if it doesn't work? I tried it before and it didn't happen. But no, this is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. And he rose up and he walked. And he didn't just walk, but he leaped because it was a leap of faith. It was a jump. He went from one place to the other. It doesn't just say he got up and he started walking. It says he leaped up and then he was walking, leaping and praising the Lord. And so listen, we've got to take that leap of faith. Whatever it is God's been telling you to do, whatever it is he's been urging you to do, move away from, move to, start, begin. It may be a ministry. He told you to start a business. He told you to start. Maybe he told you to move from that ungodly relationship, move from that ungodly surrounding. Maybe he told you it's time to start that new job. Maybe it's time for a new thing. Maybe it is that he has you on a totally different assignment, something you've never done. He's urging you to do something that you don't know if you're equipped to do it. But it's not about you being equipped. Noah wasn't an architect. It doesn't, you know, it wasn't about him being some master builder. He was doing what God told him. God gave him specific instructions. When God leads you, he gives you specific instructions as you take the leap of faith, as you begin to move in the purpose and in the plan, in the mission. And as you begin to move by faith, the Bible says the just shall live by faith. We're to walk by faith and not by sight. Faith, faith, faith the leap of faith. Take the leap of faith. Stop being still. Stop wondering and stop stop uh, walking in fear because God is not giving you a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Father, it's in the name of Jesus, I pray. Father, for us believers that you would help us to take the leap of faith as you direct us each and every time that you move us from one place to another, one position to another, one assignment to another. As you begin to move in our life and give us assignments and give us instruction, help us, Lord God, just to trust you and just to do it. And so, Father, I thank you that Day, Lord God, that we take a leap of faith and we want to be in your will in agreement with you. Walk in, Lord God, in purpose and on purpose. We give you all the praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Take that leap of faith today. I encourage you. Don't forget to minister the gospel to somebody who's unsaved. Hit the subscribe button if you want notifications when I upload videos. Um, I thank you all for the ones that are following and are subscribed and those that watch regularly. I appreciate you. And most of all, I'm excited because God is bringing believers together to study his word, to pray 
pray and to come together in faith that we can be about our Father's business. Time is at hand. I encourage you if you're up at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we also have a wow movement. It's Watchmen on the Wall. We're interceding and standing in the gap every morning, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. And all you have to do is go on Facebook Live on my page, Tony Brooke Brown, or you can call the number underneath the YouTube video. But please join us if you're able, if you're up, because God is doing a mighty work in the in the body of Christ, bringing us together so that he can increase the kingdom of God through believers. We are standing in the gap for the brokenhearted, the addicted, the abused, the lost, the sick, the hurting, those that are in the body of Christ, so we can raise up to new levels and go forth and preach the gospel with boldness and do the will of the Father. And so I encourage you, if you're not saved today and you're watching this, please give your life to Christ today. Today is your day, but tomorrow is not promised. Give your life to him. He died for you so you can have eternal life, abundant life, new life, and be forgiven of your past, of your sins, and that you will be able to go forward in purpose and be complete and be whole. God wants to be your father and he wants you to be his child. So have a blessed day in the Lord. I will see you next time. God bless you.